So coming up next, we are going to hear from Molly McKinley, who is the CEO of Phil Oz. And many of you will probably recognize Molly as uh, one of the core <laughs> contributors to the Filecoin protocol and the original Protocol Labs uh, team. Uh, now she's the CEO of Phil Oz, and she's going to be giving us an update on uh, some of the new technical developments on Filecoin, the Filecoin roadmap, so all things synthetic proof of replications, uh, hot storage layers, fast finality, uh, all these kind of things that are going to make Filecoin faster, easier to use, uh, more secure, and better. So um, with that, I would like to welcome Molly to the stage. Oh, are we missing the clicker? Oh, I think it's right here. All right, thank you guys so much for having me. I'm not unfortunately gonna get through all the technical details of everything, because it's 10 minutes, and that would be a, a good long presentation, but please, if you are excited to learn all of those details, we have three full days of Phil Dev conversations over the next three days, so come join us at our fourth Phil Dev Summit, happening just a quick five minute walk through a beautiful gallery that way, um, and we'll be going through all of the details of the things that have launched in Falcon land, um, and what to be excited about. Well, I can get started telling you the first bit. Um, some people here might not be familiar, what is Phil Oz? Um, this is a, a new organization that myself and Jennifer, um, one of the other kind of early core devs to the Filecoin ecosystem, and Nicola Greco, who actually wrote the, uh, uh, worked with Juan to write the initial Filecoin white paper, um, have created, it's a core developer team focused on protocol security, um, fundamental building blocks in the Filecoin ecosystem, um, and kind of core development work that makes building blocks that many of the other amazing teams that are presenting here today are utilizing to push the Filecoin ecosystem forward. All right, there you go. So there's our, our team mission. We have a, a chunk of work around network security and network upgrades. There's a new network upgrade that's uh, hitting calibration neck as we speak and we'll be rolling out to mainnet in just a couple of weeks. Um, we do a lot of work on protocol R&D, helping uh, design and launch new Filecoin improvement proposals or FIPS into the Filecoin ecosystem to empower all developers um, in Filecoin land. We custodian the Lotus implementation, which is one of three client implementations in Filecoin. Um, and we also spend a chunk of time working on the Ref FBM, so the uh, Filecoin virtual machine implementation that all of the amazing builders um, used to build new smart contracts and applications on top of Filecoin. Um, and then we also spend a lot of time sharing knowledge, working with the, the protocol developer community um, to help grow and expand all of the work that um, is happening in this space. So this is our mission and, and what we do. Um, how do we do this? We uh, spend a lot of time as core devs working across this ecosystem. We aim to lower the contribution barrier to Filecoin, uh, create better uh, alignment venues, things like the Phil Dev Summit that's happening tomorrow and the next day, um, do a lot of proactive knowledge sharing, and collaborate extensively with teams across the Filecoin ecosystem to improve core Filecoin protocol. There's a couple of really exciting areas in Filecoin land um, that folks have been working on in Q2, Q3. Uh, this is a, a screenshot of uh, the kind of high-level Filecoin roadmap that was shared in one of the most recent um, Endres The Gathering sessions. Um, first, thinking about the overall deep in compute storage space. This is a huge growth area for the entire Filecoin network and all of Web3 as well, helping expand into rich infrastructure um, and offer critical services that you can actually build decentralized applications and the decentralized internet on top of. Um, and there's a lot of new progress that's happening in Filecoin land with L2s, layer twos, launching on top of Filecoin to bring new services to the Filecoin ecosystem. We now have Fluence that launches a, an L2 um, that's offering compute. Um, Basin and Storacha have both announced that they're gonna be doing data storage oriented L2s on Filecoin um, and are hard at work uh, actually bringing that to, to testnet and beyond. Um, in kind of the, the core storage services realm, um, there's been a lot of progress in the last six months around retrievability and doing retrieval testing at scale across the Filecoin ecosystem, um, reforming the Phil Plus Allocators program um, in order to better prioritize and, and allocate resources to the groups who are offering strong storage services in the space. 
Um, and then finally, we've seen a huge growth in the Filecoin developer ecosystem. Um, at, in Filoz, we've helped onboard a number of new open source contributors to core Filecoin land. Um, we also saw over 99 different teams recognized in the first Filecoin Retro PGF program. So there's a lot to celebrate from that just in the last six months, um, from L2s to Basin and Staracha to the first Filecoin Retro PGF and the fast retrievals now being offered by over 30 storage providers across the world in the Falcon ecosystem. Um, so how are we contributing to that in Phil Oz land? Um, we spend a, a chunk of our time these last uh, three months on F3 fast finality. Um, this is really exciting and is rolling out uh, in a soft launch in the next network upgrade that's coming in just a few weeks because this brings fast interop and liquidity across different chains. Um, you might have known that the, the historical latency of interacting and getting finality in Filecoin as a core layer one blockchain that was initially designed in 2017 um, has been historically slow. And this brings us down to single block time level finality and interop between other networks, allowing us also to do things like smart contracts for bridging and exporting storage as a service across many other ecosystems, which is really exciting. Um, we've also been spending a chunk of time working with all of the different L2 data on-ramps as they're doing their design work from Basin to Staracha to Lighthouse and others. Um, and we've built an architecture, a high-level reusable structure um, for a fully decentralized data on-ramp L2 um, and built a, a set of kind of cross-chain storage smart contract building blocks that folks can use to get, get up and running really quickly. Um, we, we believe that Filecoin has made massive progress, as Jen was just telling us about earlier, um, in offering large-scale data storage to companies, enterprises, large-scale um, you know, public goods data set providers. Um, but we also need to make sure that hot, fast, small storage is working really well for the Web3 ecosystem. Um, and so we spent a, a chunk of time just in the past couple of months really improving the EVM APIs and um, the support for Ethereum legacy transactions so it's way easier for smart contract builders to be utilizing Filecoin storage. And this is a huge priority with L2 on-ramps as well, is making sure you can do on-chain, fully decentralized data aggregation into kind of large-scale Filecoin sectors as well. Um, and so we're, we're really excited to see how F3 um, is also going to speed up that entire community and ecosystem, allowing things like Axelar to also be harnessing Filecoin storage and not just uh, liquidity bridging. Um, I also mentioned uh, support for hot data and fast retrievals is a big priority. In addition to all of the work around um, actually getting uh, kind of the, the overall testing and um, tracking of data usage, we've also made a new Filecoin improvement proposal for a proof of data possession, a hot storage proof to add to Filecoin's um, layer one that can then be harnessed for anyone who wants an additional requirement check that yes, I have a hot storage copy of this data available that I can serve your website off of or your NFT image off of or anything that needs super fast retrievability and access. Um, so this could be used as a new module in addition to Filecoin's existing storage provider proofs um, that can add a, a low cost uh, but a additional um, set of, of guarantees around, hey, this data is actually hot available. There isn't an unsealing process to get access to this and serve data off it. Um, and so that's a, a new thing that we're actually going to be experimenting with using the Filecoin virtual machine. So instead of waiting for um, a long design process and network upgrade, we're going to be working on bringing this through FVM very quickly, experimenting with it, making sure that we can understand the utility before um, pulling it down into the, the core actors in Falcon Layer 1. Um, there's also some really exciting work. Uh, Irene just published a blog post about this a couple weeks ago around simplifying the data onboarding pipeline in Filecoin. It's going to have a lot of improvements, um, both for the, the code complexity and, and overhead, but also the incentive structure of Filecoin. Um, when, when Filecoin first started out, you would uh, chunk up your data and you would onboard uh, one deal sector at a time. And now, since we've added things like snap deals and we have the opportunity to have mutable sectors where you can repeatedly bring new data into that sector over its lifetime. Um, this now pushes us towards a new, by default, data onboarding pipeline that can simplify that experience um, and have, kind of de by default, um, more mutable sectors, snappable sectors. Um, and the new um, non-interactive PoRap, which is also going out in this next network upgrade, um, is going to allow ceiling as a service providers to create those, um, like, uh, 
committed capacity sectors, those, those open sectors that you can add data into highly scalably and cheaply so that when we actually bring data to the Falcoy network, we can do so quickly and economically. Um, last but not least, we spend a lot of our time working at the, the network community layer, um, working on things like the NV23 upgrade, working on new protocol improvements, and working closely with open source contributors like Web3Mine and Curio um, to help them launch new improvements. Um, three newer projects as we look more forward to Q3 and Q4 that we're excited about working with the ecosystem on. First is all of these awesome new hot storage stubnets, building on top of IPC, building on top of Filecoin, building on top of F3 as that rolls into production. Um, this is a huge new opportunity for deep connection for Filecoin into deep in networks, compute networks, um, media, gaming, um, and, and really enables a very flexible architecture for bringing new data into the Filecoin ecosystem um, with many different L2s that can specialize for different use cases, that can even specialize for a specific client that wants their own access controls. WeatherXM is already experimenting with this with Basin right now, and it's really awesome to see folks pushing forward in the space. Um, we're also really excited about this new proof of data possession as a building block that can be used by those L2s to get fast, hot storage on L1 that they can rely on. Um, and again, we're also pumped that we can experiment on this in FVM instead of having to wait for larger scale network upgrades. Um, and last but not least, if you're excited about this topic, please come talk to us at the Phil Dev Summit um, because it's new and exciting and we're still figuring out the opportunity space here, um, but it's a new initiative we're calling Filecoin Web Services, or FWS for short, um, and it's looking at the overall um, growth of Filecoin as a you know, open de decentralized storage network to move across many chains in Web3 and bring the, the ease of use and um, you know, structuring of of services and, and the markets around services um, into kind of a, a simple, easy, cross-chain marketplace where folks can not just you know, pay for their long-term storage, but they can interface across L2 storage, they can interface across compute networks, they can interface with other deep in networks um, that maybe are a, a whole collection of services they want to participate with. It's still early days and we're still figuring out exactly um, where this one is going to go, but if you're excited about it, we'd love to talk to you um, and co-design this together during FDS. Um, a couple of other things that are our ongoing goals for 2024 um, in Philaw's land, we're accelerating storage adoption, that's L2 data on-ramps, new storage primitives in L1, and speed-ups to that SP onboarding process. We're enhancing Filecoin utility with cross-chain interop. There's a soft launch for F3 that's happening in just a couple of weeks. Um, we have uh, scalable cross-chain storage smart contracts um, that are already live, and builders in things like um, the most recent HackFS are taking advantage of and, and iterating upon. Um, and we're, we're working on some of these design questions around FWS and how that might be a, a really exciting evolution trajectory for Filecoin as a whole, helping it spread across all of the different um, chains in Web3. Um, we're also continuing to spend time on simplifying and lowering our maintenance effort so that we can spend more time on exciting new stuff. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, good improvements to the SP onboarding pipeline and also to Lotus itself around testing and release process. Uh, last but not least, we spend a lot of our time uh, scaling Filecoin core contributors via things like the PL Dev Guild and also empowering Filecoin build builders with better FEVM APIs. So that's where we're focused in Q3 right now, and we'd love to work together with you. If you want to support Phil Laws, please come and chat with us. We together want to grow the, the sustainability and competencies of Filecoin, contribute to public goods funding, and also help us set the standard for all teams contributing to public goods in Filecoin land. So um, feel free to get in contact with me or follow Phil Laws on Twitter. We now have a, a Twitter account and we're sharing out more information, publishing new design proposals as we go through. Um, and well, I, I had a slide, but please come talk to us at Phil Dev Summit tomorrow. Um, we'd love to, to chat with you more deeply and work on some new Filecoin improvement proposals together in situ. So thank you so much.